Hey there. This week at Galloway, we're continuing with part three of our four-part series on the healing power of forgiving. But this time, we're going to be talking about all of us good-hearted Christian people who have tried but have found ourselves unable to forgive. You know, lots of times it is a struggle, isn't it? But here's part of the problem there. When we don't forgive, it is not that God begins to revoke his own forgiveness of us or pull it back. But here's the problem. Now, I have here some pieces of metal. These are just cut from a Coca-Cola can. But they look like pieces of shrapnel. You've heard about when a bomb explodes, debris from the building that it's in, as well as the bomb itself, fragments and goes out everywhere. It's one of the more dangerous pieces about such an explosion. Sometimes we get emotional shrapnel in our lives. Even this very tiny, small piece is as sharp as a razor. Now you can imagine what happens to us emotionally when we have those pieces of relational shrapnel stuck under our skin. It cuts us. It's harmful to us. And also, it's harmful to our relationships. You know, if I've got a big sharp piece of emotional shrapnel inside of me, one of the things that I'm going to be doing is be very suspicious of your motives. I'm going to be carrying around a grudge, and I'm going to be pretty easily wounded by you, even if you don't do anything overtly to hurt me, because of these pieces of my broken relationships. That's why it's important to forgive. And this Sunday, we're going to be talking about the ways that we tend to get stuck and we feel unable to forgive. But there really is good news and there really is hope for getting unstuck and for letting the Holy Spirit remove that shrapnel from our lives. I'm Kerry Stockett. I'm reminding you that it really is good news, and I hope to see you Sunday. We're going to be drawing our text from Luke chapter 23, where the dying Jesus on the cross says, Father, forgive them. They know not what they're doing. Luke 23, verses 32 to 38. Hope to see you Sunday.